There may not be a prospect this year that generates more disagreements among scouts than Michigan's Jabril Peppers. The debate is about whether or not he has a position in the NFL. Some see him as a star at safety, while others see him as just a great athlete without a position. Jabril's ability to play multiple positions served him well at Michigan and also at Paramus Catholic High School in New Jersey. He was a weapon on offense, but he truly loved the challenge of playing defensive back. I just like, it's just mano y mano. It's just me and you one on one. You know, like, you have to beat me. And, and my thing is, you, I'm, I'm, I hate losing. So it's, it's, it's going to take a lot, a lot for, for me to let myself lose. And um, that's, that's what I like, just the attitude you have to have, the swagger. Fans and teammates have always been drawn to Jabril's charismatic personality. <laughs> But seeing his smile and hearing his laughter, you'd never know the tough road he took to get to the NFL. His father missed out on much of Jabril's childhood as he served time for a weapons charge. And Jabril's older brother, Don Curtis, was shot and killed at the age of 20. Jabril has a tattoo on his arm honoring his late brother. It reminds him to never go down the path that his brother did. I wanted to be just like him, you know. He, he was a good role model. He, he, even though he was doing things that he wasn't supposed to be doing, you know, he, he kept me away from doing those things. And, um, you know, I, I just want to thank him every day for that because without him, I don't know where I'd be right now. Probably wouldn't even be living, you know, the, the things like the path I was heading down. I mean, it was bad, but it was also a, an eye opener, you know. Like, he was the one who wanted me to do this football thing. You know, I started playing football because of him. By focusing on football and schoolwork, Jabril was able to turn his life around, get off the streets, and get on a path to success. Now Jabril is one step away from the NFL, which is just part of the goals he's always set for himself. I just want to be successful, you know. I'm like, say, like, I could break my leg tomorrow, you know. That's why I like pride myself on academics, because no one can ever take this away from me, you know. So I just want to be successful. The ultimate goal is to be a pro football player, slash big name rapper, star, slash actor. <laughs> I could go on and on, but you know, the, the, the main goal is just to be successful and just, you know, find a way to make my family successful. Similar to Peppers, USC's Adoree Jackson is a versatile athlete who can make plays as a defensive back or on special teams. His elite speed helped him emerge as a star at Unipero Serra High School in California. We had thought, okay, well, here comes a, you know, you know, going to be a sophomore, he'll be a JV kid, and that lasted all of about a third of a practice. We said, well, you know, this kid might be a little bit better than that. Since the start, I could tell he was a special kid. I mean, he, he came out there, and the things he was able to do, it reminded me a lot of Marquise Lee, a kid we had a few years before that. He's just a phenomenal athlete and a great kid, so, I mean, he's just been a joy to coach. In college, I expect to play offense, defense, and do special teams. I expect to do everything I'm doing on Sarah, you know, have the same success rate. He's listed as a cornerback for this draft, but his ability to make an early impact as a kick and punt returner will only raise his draft stock. Look for him to be selected somewhere in the second or third round.